Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we have got this triangle ABC such that this angle A is 40 degrees and furthermore, we got another triangle BDC such that this angle B is divided into two equal parts and likewise this uh, angle c has been divided into two equal parts as well and now we are going to calculate the value of this angle d so let's go ahead and get started and here's the very first thing we are going to do let me go ahead and call these angles on this angle c as alpha and this angle alpha as well and as far as this b is concerned i'm going to call this angle beta and this angle beta as well and now i am going to call this angle d as angle theta and now let's focus on this big triangle ABC. We know that the sum of all these three angles, this angle, this angle, and this angle must be equal to 180 degrees. And we know that this angle C is going to be alpha plus alpha is going to make 2 alpha. And likewise, this angle is going to be a beta plus beta is going to be 2 beta. So the sum of the angles is going to be this one, this one, and this one. Let me go ahead and write down this thing. So I'm going to write down 40 degrees plus 2. 2 alpha plus 2 beta is going to be 180 degrees. And now let's subtract 40 degrees from both sides. So this and this is gone. And this we are ended up on the left hand side. 2 alpha plus 2 beta turns out to be 140 degrees and now let's go ahead and divide across the board by 2 to make things simple so we got alpha plus beta turns out to be 70 degrees and now let's focus on this other triangle BDC. We know that the sum of all these three angles must be 180 degrees as well. So this angle theta and this angle alpha and this angle beta. So let me go ahead and just write it down. Angle theta plus angle alpha plus angle beta equals to 180 degrees now we know that angle alpha plus beta is 70 degrees so i'm going to replace alpha plus beta by 70 degrees so we can write this one theta plus 70 degrees equal to 180 degrees let's go ahead and subtract 70 degrees from both sides and we can see this 70 degrees and negative 70 degrees they are gone so theta turns out to be 110 degrees so thus our this angle d turns out to be 110 degrees and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye